Lahko bi šli zdaj vsi domov, pa bi rekli, jaz smo imeli crkav, ne? Jaz se je bilo v redu. Ampak ste pripravljeni za besedo? Ali ste vshičeni? Ne glede na to, koliko ste jo že slišali, še vedno je živa. Bog ti lahko da nekaj novega, vedno iznova. Rad bi podelil nekaj citatov iz Biblije z vami, sem jih nekaj že podelil. Kaj ti tvoje zaupanje ni v pridigarju, ampak v Božji besedi. Lahko mene vzameš domov, lahko v Biblijo vzameš domov. Lahko se vedno zanešeš na Božjo besedo. To je konstanta, Božja beseda se ne spreminja. In na Božjo besedo se tudi vedno zanašaš. Torej, reci tole z mano. Jaz sem odrešen. Od česa si odrešen. Odrešen sem. Odrešen sem. Odrešen sem. Od greha. Od bolezni. In revščine. Sem odrešen. Od greha. Od bolezni. In od revščine. Sej, da sem odrešen. Mi je odpuščeno. Sem ozdravljen. In sem bogat. Bogatstvo to ni beseda preklicstva. Bog želi, da si bogat. Vsi ljudje, ki so indikovali, v stari zavezi, ki so služili Boga, so postali bogati. V Mateju 6.33 se je rekel, da če iščeš Boga, če iščeš Božje kraljestvo, Vse ti bo dodano. Čisto vse. Bog hoče, da On skrbi za te. Vi ste njegovi otroci. Vi bi morali biti njegov primer. Tako izgledajo moji otroci. Amen. Vse, kakor moji otroci izgledajo, se nanaša na me. Če imajo neke pomajkljivosti moji otroci, to pomeni, da jaz nisem dobro oče. Tako kot oni izgledajo, To pove ljudem, kako sem jaz dobro oče. Ampak, ker smo mi Božji otroci, tako kot mi izgledamo, to 
He wants his children to be rich. On želi da se njegovi otroci bogati. Amen. 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 Are you forgiven? Ali ti je odpušteno. Amen. Are you healed? Ali si ozdravljen. Amen. Are you rich? Ali si bogat. Amen. Uh, we should swallow that. You need to swallow this. Yeah. Okay, let's look at some scriptures. 2 Corinthians 5, 21. It says, For he made him who knew no sin to be sin for us that we might become da bi mi lahko postali the righteousness of God in him. Pravičnost Boga v njem. He became sin. On je postal greh. We became righteous. Mi smo postali pravični. Total substitution. Torej, popolna zamenjava. No more sin in your life. Nač več greha v tvojem življenju. Jesus paid the price for it all. Jezus je za vse to plačal ceno. That doesn't mean you don't make mistakes. To ne pomeni, da ne delaš napak. It means you're forgiven of all. Ampak to pomeni, da ti je vse odpuščeno. So it's done. Vse je narejeno. Two thousand years ago it was done. Pred dva tisoč leti je bilo že vse narejeno. Amen? Amen. All right, 1 Peter 2.24. Prvo Petrovo pismo. 2.24. 2.4 in 20. It says, who himself bore our sins in his own body on the tree that we having died to sins might live for righteousness by whose stripes you were healed. Amen. Amen. Jesus paid the price once and for all. Jesus je plačal ceno enkrat za vse lej. For all sickness and disease. Za vso bolezen in, ja, za vso bolezen. You were healed. In vi ste ozdravljeni. Amen. Amen. Now 2 Corinthians 8, 9. Drugo Korinčanom 8, 11. You have your Bibles tonight? Imate svoja sveta pisma na coj? Check up on me. Torej, preverjajte. 2 Corinthians 8, 9. Torej, drugo Korinčanom 8, 11. For you know the... 8, 9. 8, 9. Ja, 8, 9. You know the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. Poznate milost našega gospoda Jezusa Hristusa. That though he was rich, bil je bogat, Yet for your sakes he became poor that you through his poverty might become rich. Amen. Amen. You see these three different scenarios? He was righteous. He became sin. You became righteous. He was healthy. He was healthy. On je bil zdrav. He became sick. On je postal bolan. You became healthy. In vi ste postali zdravi. He was rich. On je bil bogat. He became poor. Postal je reven. You became rich. In vi ste postali bogati. All of these are a finished work. Vse to je že dokončano delo. If you're born again, these belong to you. Če si na novo rojen, to vse pripada tebi. All three, all of them are yours. Vse to je tvoje. Right now. Prav zdaj. But see, they're all in the spirit realm. Ampak vse je to v duhovni sferi. We believe that we're forgiven. Mi verujemo, da nam je odpuščeno. Even if we don't feel forgiven. Čeprav ne čutimo, da nam je odpuščeno. We believe that we're healed. Mi verujemo to, da smo ozdravljeni. Even if our body doesn't agree with the word. Čeprav se naše telo ne strinja z Božjo besedo. The word is still true. Ampak Božja beseda je še vedno resnična. No matter what we see. Ne glede na to, kaj mi vidimo. 
So if those are true for sin and sickness, če to vse resnično za greh in za bolezen, prosperity is also a spiritual truth. A torej je prosperiteta tudi duhovna resnica. We are rich mi smo bogati, no matter what our wallet says. Ne glede na to, kaj naša denarnica pravi. Do you have access to forgiveness? Ali imaš dostop do odpuščanja? Do you have access to healing? Ali imaš dostop do ozdravljenja? Do you have access to wealth? Ali imaš dostop do bogatstva? They're all available to you. Vse to je na voljo tebi. So we're the righteous? Torej, mi smo pravični. We're the healed? Smo ozdravljeni. And we're the rich? In smo bogati. That is who you are. To je tisto to, kar si. Never say, I'm broke. Nikoli ne reci, sem zlomljen. Nikoli ne reci, sem brez denarja. Nikoli ne reci, da sem brez denarja. Because your dad has more than enough. Kaj, ker ti tvoj oče ima več kot dovolj. It's not how much you have, it's how much you can get. Ni toliko, koliko imaš ti, ampak koliko lahko dobiš. Amen. Amen. God can get money to you. Bog lahko tebi da denar. Let's look at another scripture here. Poglejmo še naprej drugo Božjo besedo. 2. Timothy 6, 17. 2. Timoteju 6, 17. You know, we often talk about forgiveness, right? Pogosto govorimo o odpuščanju. We preach about righteousness. Pridigamo o opravičnosti. We preach about healing. Pridigamo o zdravljenju. Why not preach about money? Zakaj pa ne bi pridigali o denarju? Why not preach about prosperity? Zakaj pa ne bi pridigali o prosperiteti? You realize you're righteous because you've heard righteousness. Torej, slišal si pritikanje o pravičnosti in si pravičan. You know you're the healed because you've heard preaching on healing. Veš, da si ozdravljen, kaj ti slišal si pritikanje o ozdravljenju. Faith comes by hearing. Kaj ti vera prite po poslušanju. And so, if wealth is part of the redemption, Torej, če je bogatstvo del od rešenja, bi o tem tudi morali pridigati. Hudič zelo sovraži, da govorimo o tem, kako so kristjani bogati. Kajti, če te hudič lahko obdrži revnega, potem te obdrži v bistvu omejenega. If it was wrong to be rich, če je narobe biti bogat, why wouldn't the devil just pour money in? Zakaj ne bi pol, ne vem, hudič samo potisnil takole denar. If it's a sin for you to be rich, če je za te greh biti bogat, then why doesn't the devil make you rich? Zakaj pol hudič ne naredi tega, da si ti bogat? Amen? Amen. Let's look at this scripture. Torej pogledajmo si tole Božjo besedo. 1. Timothy 1. Timoteju 6.17 Timoteju 6.17 Command those who are rich in this present age Torej tistim, ki so bogati za povej v sedanjem času Who's he talking to? Komu to govori? The rich. Bogatim. Who's the rich? Kdo pa je bogat? There's one, there's one, there's one. Tukaj so, tukaj so, tukaj so, tukaj so, ne? Who's the rich? If I said, who's the righteous? Če rečem, kdo je pravičan? Who's the healed? Kdo je ozdravljen? Who's the rich? Kdo je bogat? Amen. Amen. So he's talking to you. Torej govori tebi. Okay? Don't be full of pride. Torej ne bodi pravi preponosen, ne bodi poln ponosa. Don't trust in riches. Torej, ne zaupaj samo bogatstvom. But trust in God. Ampak zaupaj Bogu. Amen. 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 
Uh, there's been a lot of bad preaching about money. Vinda je bilo veliko slabe slabe ka pridiganja o denarju. Because it puts the the emphasis on the money. Kati je veto se poudario o denar. The emphasis is on God. Ampak poudarek je na Bogu. Amen. God is your source. Bog je tvoj izvir. Not you. Ne ti. Amen. We don't trust in money. Ne zaupamo denarju. We trust in God. Ampak zaupamo Bogu. We don't pursue money. Mi se ne tepemo za denar. We pursue God. Ampak se stegujemo k Bogu. And He adds to us. In On nam potem doda. If you pursue God with all of your heart. Torej, če se steguješ po Bogu z vsem svojim srcem, He will prosper you. Potem ti bo dal prosperiteto. That's what he does for his kids. To on naredi vse za svoje otroke. Amen. Amen. Our trust is in him, not us. Naše zaupanje je v Bogu, v njem, ne v nas. Not our job. Ne v našo službo. Not our government. Niti ne v našo vlado. Our trust is in him. Ampak je zaupanje v Bogu. He is our source. On je naš izbir. Amen. Slava ti. Okay, he gives us richly all things to enjoy. Da nam on u bogati miri vse stvari, da jih uživamo. We're supposed to be enjoying life. Mi bi morali uživati življenje. But joy doesn't come from money. Ampak užitek ne pride od denarja. Joy comes from trusting God. Ampak užitek prihaja od zaupanja Bogu. And when you trust God, in ko zaupaš Bogu, He makes you rich. On te naredi bogatega. Amen. The world always messes up the scripture about money. Torej, svet vedno meša te citate Biblije o denarju. They say money is the root of all evil. Oni rečejo, oh, denar je pa korenina vsega zla. But money is not evil. Ampak denar ni zlo. Money is neutral. Denar je neutralen. It can be used for good and evil. Lahko ga uporabiš za dobro in za zlo. Money isn't the root of evil. Torej, denar pač ni korenina zla. The love of money ljubezen do denarja is the root of evil. Je korenina zla. Greed. Torej, kofleč. People pursue money instead of pursuing God. Ljudje se po denarju stegujejo, se grebejo po denarju na mesto, da bi se stegovali po Bogu. Money won't make you happy. Denar te ne bo osrečil. Your joy is in the Lord. Tvoj užitek in tvoje veselje v Bogu. Amen. Amen. Let's look over at Genesis. Poglejmo v Genezo. Chapter 14. 14. poglavje. And it's in verse 18. In 18. verstica. This is the story about Abraham and Melchizedek. To je zgodba o Abrahamu in Melchizedeku. Okay. So, Abraham went out and won a battle. Torej, Abraham je šel in je zmagal v bitki. And on the way back home, in ko se je vrnil nazaj domov, He met Melchizedek on the road. Yes, poznal Melchizedeka na poti. And Melchizedek said this to him. In Melchizedek je Abraham mu rekel tole. Blessed is Abraham of God Most High. Blagoslovljen si Abraham od najvišjega Boga. Possessor of heaven and earth. Ki vlada nad nebesi in zemljo. And blessed be God Most High. In najbo blagoslovljen najvišji Bog who has delivered your enemies into your hand. Ki je tebi v tvoje roke predal tvoje sovražnike. And he, Abraham, in Abraham, gave him a tithe of all. Mu je dal desetino. Mu je dal desetino vsega. Tithe means tenth. Torej, in Abraham mu je dal desetino vsega. It doesn't say that Melchizedek asked for anything. Nič tukaj ne pravi, da je Melchizedek prosil za kar koli. He didn't ask for the tenth. Ni prosil za desetino. All he said is God gave you the victory. Vse, kar je Melchizedek rekel, je bilo Bog ti je dal zmago. And Abraham immediately recognized je tako izpoznal that he could not have won that battle without God. Da on ne bi mogel zmagati bitke brez Boga. God was the reason he won. 
Bog je bil razlog, da je Abraham zmagal. Have you ever had a partner in business? Ali ste kdaj koli že imeli partnerja v poslu? Have you ever done a job with somebody? Ali ste že kdaj koli naredili neko delo, neko službo z nekom? And you split the profits? In ste si razdelili potem ta dobičak? They get part, you get part. Oni dobijo svoj del, ti dobiš svoj del. If you employ somebody, in če nekoga zaposliš, you pay them a part, in jim ta del tudi plačaš, you recognize you could not do it without them. Veš, prepoznaš, da tega brez njih ne bi mogel narediti. Abraham knew he could not have won without God. Abraham je vedel, da ne more brez Boga zmagati. And he gave him a part of the prophet. In mu je dal delež med preroki. But he wasn't paying God for the work. Ampak ni bilo plačilo za delo. He was honoring God. Ampak je častil Boga. He knew that God was his source. On je vedel, da je Bog njegov izvir. And he gave him a tenth of all. In mu je dal desetino vsega. So when we tithe, when we give, ko mi damo desetino, ko mi damo, we're honoring God as our source. Ste počasnimo Boga kot naš izvir. We could not do it without him. Ničesar ne moremo stariti brez njega. He is the partner we need. On on je partner, ki ga mi potrebujemo. He's the main partner. On je glavni partner. It's, it's great to be able to give him a part. Čudovito je dati Bogu njegov delež. Where would you be without him? Kje bi ti bil brez njega? So we honor God as our source. Torej častimo Boga kot svoj izvir. We are not our source. Mi nismo sami svoj izvir. God is our source. Ampak je Bog naš izvir. He knows how to bring money to you. On ve kako ti pripeljati denar. He knows how to make you rich. In ve kako te narediti bogatega. And he can do it in all kinds of ways. In on to lahko naredi na različne načine. Over in Romans chapter 4. U Rimljanih četrto poglavje. Verse 20 and 21. Verzi 20 in 21. It says that Abraham did not waver. Abraham ni torej Abraham ni dvomil at the promises of God v Božje obljube through unbelief skozi nevero but was strengthened in faith ampak je bil treniran v veri giving glory to God dal je slavo Bogu and he was fully convinced bil je popolnoma prepričan that God What God had promised, da to kar je Bog obljubil, he was also able to perform. Je on to lahko tudi izpeljal. See his confidence was not in himself. Torej njegovo zaupanje ni bilo v njemu samem. His confidence was in God. Ampak celotno njegovo zaupanje je bilo v Bogu. When it comes to righteousness, ko pride do pravičnosti, when it comes to healing, ko se gre za ozdravljenje, when it comes to prosperity, ko se gre za prosperiteto, Our confidence is in God. Je naše zaupanje v Bogu. Now remember, righteousness, healing and prosperity are spiritual. Torej, pravičnost, ozdravljenje in bogatstvo tu je vse duhovno. You don't look at what you can see. Torej, ne gledaš to, kar lahko vidiš. You look at what His Word says. Ampak gledaš na to, kar pravi njegova beseda, Božja beseda. Amen? Amen. Romans chapter 5 Rimljanom preto poglavje verse 15 15. vrstica But the free gift ampak zastojnski dar is not like the offense ni kot obramba pregreha for if by one man's offense many died kaj ti po grehu enega človeka so mnogi umrli Much more the grace of God, ampak veliko bolj bo Božja milost, and the gift by grace, in dar po milosti, the one man Jesus Christ, po enem človeku Jezusu Kristusu, abounded to many. Bo bo prosperiteto mnogim. Verse seventeen, sedemnaesta vrstica, says this gift was righteousness. To darilo je pravičnost. Righteousness is a gift. Pravičnost je dar. It's a grace. To je milost. Righteousness is a gift. Torej, pravičnost je dar. 2 Corinthians 
5, 2 Corinthians 5, 21. It says, for he made him who knew no sin to be sin for us that we might become the righteousness of God in him. In the next verse says we plead with you don't receive this grace of God in vain. He called righteousness a grace. A gift. Righteousness is a gift. Healing is a gift. Prosperity is a gift. It's a grace. To je milost. We receive grace by faith. Grace is unearned. It's a favor given to you. When someone has a birthday, people bring them gifts. And it's totally unearned. Their mom did all the work. And they just get a birthday. In to to visa rojsni dan. Yeah. And they get, you get gifts for being born. Dobiš darilo za to, da si rojen. That? Oh, they don't? You do the work for your birthday. Do you? Is it different here? A tu kaj 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 za rojsni dan. Okay. They used to call it your grace day. Torej, bodo rekli, tvoj dan milosti. Dan, dan, ko te ljudje kar obdarijo. Samo zato, ker si bil rojen. Torej, milost je nezaslužena. Nič ti ni treba storiti, da pač to dobiš, da to zaslužiš. Forgiveness je unearned. Torej, odpuščanje je tudi nezasluženo. Jezus je to že vse naredil. In ti iz tega prosperiraš. Če si na novo rojen in verjameš, veruješ to, da je Jezus umrl na križu za te, ti je vse odpuščeno. Tudi ozdravljenje je milost. If you believe that Jesus bore stripes for you, če veruješ to, da je Jezus trpel rane, da je bil prebičan za te, then by his stripes you are healed. Po njegovih rana si ti bil ozdravljen. It was a grace. To je milost. You don't have to do anything to earn it. Nič ti ni treba storiti, da to zaslužiš. There's two keys to grace. Obstajata dva ključa do milosti. Number one, grace is received grace is received Milost se dobi po veri. Romans 5.2 Rimljanom 5.12 Through whom also we have access po njem imamo tudi dostop by faith po veri into this grace. V to milost. We take the grace mi vzamemo milost by faith po veri. Not by feelings ne po občutkih. Not by what we see. Ne potem, kar vidimo. We take it by faith. Ampak poveri. So we receive grace by faith. Torej, milost sprejmemo poveri. Whether it's grace for forgiveness. Če je to milost po odpuščanju. Grace for healing. Milost po ozdravljenju. Grace for prosperity. Milost za prosperiteto. We have to say, the word says it. Mi moramo reči, tako beseda pravi. I believe it. Jaz to verujem. And I'm going to act on it. In jaz bom deloval tako. You have to do it by faith. Moraš narediti to po veri. The second thing, the second key to grace. Do milosti. 
is humility. Uh, je ponižnost. First Peter 5, 5. Uh, pismo, uh, 5, 5. James, Peter, Peter, John. Okay. It says, uh, God, God resists the proud, uh, se upira, uh, uh, ponosu, but gives grace milost, to the humble. Uh, If you're confident in yourself, samo sebi, you're not humble. Potem nisi ponižen. If you're confident in God, čepa, uh, Bogu, you're humble. Potem si ponižen. Because he's your source. Kaj ti on je tvoj izvir. You're not your source. Ti nisi Amen. sam svoj izvir. Amen. Amen. So prosperity is a grace. Korej, prosperiteta je milost. Amen. What are the two keys to accessing grace? Uh, torej, to sta dva ključa kako v bistvu priti do milosti. Faith. Vera. And humility. In ponižnost. God gives grace. Bog daje milost. To the humble. Uh, That's why he says those that are rich. Uh, zato pravi tisti, ki so bogati, should not be proud. Uh, ne smejo biti ponosni. We should love. Mi moramo ljubiti. We should pursue love. Uh, mi uh, moramo dajati ljubezen. Love. Ljubezen is the desire to benefit others. Uh, je želja potem da bi uh, obdorovali druge. At the expense of self. Uh, na račun nas samih. Lust. Uh, poželenja is the desire to benefit self. Uh, je želja uh, to da bi uh, obdorovali sami sebe. At the expense of others. Na račun drugih. Love is a giver. Uh, ljubezen pa daje. Lust is a taker. Uh, poželenje pa oduzame. God is love. Ampak Bog je ljubezen. God is a giver. Bog daje. Amen. 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 Ephesians chapter 2. Uh, Efežanom uh, drugo poglavje. Verse 8 and 9. Uh, 8 and 9. Ja, 9 in 80. Ali 8 in 9. Ja. Um, for by grace, kaj ti po milosti? Say by grace. Po milosti. Po milosti. By grace. How? By po grace. milosti. Po milosti. You have been saved ste bili odrešeni through po faith. Veri. We, we receive the grace of salvation uh, torej, uh, dobimo to uh, uh, milost odrešenja by faith. Po veri. And that not of yourselves. It's a gift. Ampak je dar. Of God. To je dar od Boga. Not of works. Ne del. Lest anyone should boast. Uh, da se ne bi nihče hvalil. So we see faith. Vidimo vero. And humility. In ponižnost. To receive grace. Zato da dobimo milost. Now, now we receive grace. Through faith Torej, uh, po veri and humility. In ponižnosti. So why do we talk about grace when we're talking about prosperity? Uh, zakaj potem o milosti govorimo, če govorimo o prosperiteti? I'm glad you asked. Ja, veseli me, da sprašujete. 2 Corinthians uh, drugo Korinčano uh, verse 9, or chapter 9, verse 8. Uh, deveto poglavje Chapter 9, 8. Uh, poglavje, osma vrstica. It says God Pravi Bog is able to make all grace. Lahko naredi vse milost. Say all grace. All grace. Vse milost. Abound toward you. Ki je dana vam. That you always da lahko vi having all lahko imate vedno sufficiency in all things uh, 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 all u vseh stvarih may have an abundance uh, imate uh, 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 vse for every good work ja izobilje vsega za vsako dobro delo if you're going to have an abundance for every good work uh, če boste imeli izobilje vsega za vsako dobro delo you need money potem potrebujete denar okay. amen 
So what you need is money. But it doesn't say he's going to give you money. It doesn't say God is able to make all money. It says it doesn't say God's going to make you rich so that you can abound. It says he's going to give you grace. You want to be rich? You have to access the grace. He doesn't give you money. He gives you grace. Which means the power to do what his word says. But it's only available through faith and humility. You can't do it if you're trying to do it for yourself. When you put when you put God's kingdom first, when you pursue his kingdom, you're able to access the grace. Do you want abundance? It's available. Do you want healing? It's available. Do you want forgiveness? It's available. It's available to those who humble themselves and believe. Most people are pursuing money when they should be pursuing God. It's a grace. It's already done. And you can access as much as you want. It's all based on your faith and your trust in God. Your humility. People are waiting for money to come when the power has already been given. I was thinking about this verse one day. And I, and I so wanted to support these three different ministries on a monthly basis. I, I wanted to send them money every month. But I didn't have it in my budget. I, you know, I, I paid my tithe. We were supporting other missions. We were paying for our house. Our car. Phone. You know, we had bills. We, we didn't have enough money to support these three ministries also. We didn't have enough money to support these three ministries but this scripture became alive to me. And I, it says, you have the grace to give to every good work. It doesn't say I have the money to give. I have the grace to give. That means I have the power through Christ to do it. Well, if I have the power, then I'm going to do it. I kept thinking about this verse until that became alive to me. The light came on inside of me. I see it. Oh, vidim konchno. I can do this. My checkbook or my wallet said, no, you can't. But the word said, yes, I can. What am I supposed to do? Listen to my wallet? Or listen to the word? It was in my heart. 
See, prosperity is a heart issue. God looks at the heart. Are you sincere? Ali si iskren? Are you pursuing the kingdom? Uh, ali iščeš Božje kraljestvo? Are you looking to benefit others? Ali uh, hočeš v bistvu pomagati drugim? Or is it all about yourself? Ali je pa to samo vse, vse, vse zate? When it's about God and His kingdom, ampak tukaj se gre za Boga in za Božje kraljestvo. He pours it in. Uh, uh, daj v Božje kraljestvo. So I I sent twenty dollars to each of these three ministries. Nisam, uh, poslal 20 dolarjev v vsaki od teh treh ministrijev. Did I have it? A sem imel? No. Ne. But I knew God would provide. Ampak sem vedel, da, da, da bo Bog, uh, uh, da, da bi bo Bog pomagal, da bo Bog dodal. Because if His word says I can give, če Božja beseda pravi, da lahko dam, then obviously he knows he needs to give in, it to me. Očitno, Bog to ve in Bog mi bo dal. I'm just doing his word. Jaz samo delam Božje delo. That same week, uh, ta isti teden, I got a raise. Uh, uh, a raise, an increase in uh, aha, salary. Aha, uh, uh, se v bistvu povečal denar. Aha, sem, sem dobil povišico v službi. I sent Sixty dollars. Poslal sem šestdeset dolarjev. And I got a four hundred dollar raise. U in sem dobil povišico štiristo dolarjev. That was per month. To je bilo za mesec. So I wanted to send sixty dollars per month. Ja sem hotel šestdeset dolarjev poslat na mesec. God gave me four hundred dollars. Pa mi je Bog dal štiristo dolarjev. To do it with. Da da to pošljam. That's the way God thinks. Na ta način Bog razmišlja. When you have a heart to give, ko imaš srce da daš, you act on the grace. Uh, uh, po milosti. You do it. In to narediš. And God provides. In Bog potem uh, ti doda. I had a friend that was going through some financial trouble. Imel sem prijatelja, ki je šel skozi neke finančne probleme. And the thought came to me. In uh, pomislil sem. Give them five hundred dollars. Uh, da im petsto dolarjev. Well, I didn't have five hundred dollars. Ampak nisem imel petsto dolarjev. But if I had it, I would have gladly given it to them. Ampak če bi jih imel, bi z veseljem dal. So I thought, what do I need to do? Uh, pa sem pomislil, kaj naj storim. So I said, Lord. Sem rekel, gospod. You send me five hundred dollars, and I'll send it. Pošli mi petsto dolarjev in jaz bom poslal. I had already decided I was going to send them $500. When it came in. Uh, so a friend from out of town called me. Uh, me poklical, he said, can we have lunch? Uh, I said, yeah. yeah. So, so we just went to lunch. I wasn't thinking about the $500 at all. I wasn't thinking about the $500 at all. And before the lunch was over, in še preden je bilo posila konec, he gave me a check for five hundred dollars. Mi je dal dolar. ček za petsto dolarjev. I immediately sem takoj sent the five hundred dollars to my friend. Poslal teh petsto dolarjev. See, it was in my heart. Bilo je v mojem srcu. My friend was praying for money. Uh, moj prijatelj je molil za denar. I didn't know he was praying. Jaz nisem vedel, da je molil. But the Lord knew he was praying. Ampak Gospod je vedel, da je molil. And the Lord said, who can I use? Uh, in Gospod je rekel, koga naj uporabim? And I said, use me. Uh, in jaz sem rekel, mene uporabim. And the Lord brought it to me. In Gospod je to meni pripeljal. So that I could get it to him. Zato, da sem jaz dal njemu. Amen. 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 We had the same thing happen to us years before. Uh, to se nam je tudi zgodilo že pred nekaj leti. Veronica's sister. Uh, Veronikina sestra. Sent us two hundred dollars. Da mi poslala dvesto dolarjev. In the mail. Uh, in? in the mail. Or... Po pošti. And we called her. In smo jo poklicali. We needed two hundred dollars. Uh, potrebujemo teh dvesto dolarjev. And it was right on time. In je bilo prav ob pravem času. And we said, but thank you, but why did you do that? Smo rekli, ja hvala, ampak zakaj si to storila? She said the Lord told her to do it. In ona je rekla, gospod ji je rekel, da to naj naredi. And she sent it. In je poslala. 
That same day, ta isti dan, someone found her in the parking lot. Uh, in, the, in, the park. in a parking lot. Uh, in, uh, in the uh, park. in the And gave her $200. When you have it in your heart, and you act on it by faith, in the Lewis Poveri, God provides. Potem Bog uh, 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 The key is getting it in your heart. If you have it in your heart to do, God will bring it in. We make the commitment in our heart first. And then God makes the provision. Potem pa Bog dejansko začne delovati in da provizijo. Let me share one more story here. Genesis chapter 26. Genesis chapter 26. Verse 1. It says, there was a famine in the land. Do you know what famine means? It means there's no money. He was broke. Uh, uh, And the Lord told him to stay in that land. Well, if I'm not earning anything, why stay? Shouldn't I go somewhere else? That's what he was asking the Lord. So this is Isaac. Isaac says, Lord, shouldn't I go to Egypt? And the Lord said, don't go to Egypt, stay here. Trust me. Meni zaupaj. Verse 12. Uh, Isaac sowed in that land. Uh, uh, je v posejal v to zemljo. This doesn't make sense. Uh, to nima smisla. There's no rain. Uh, ni novenega dežja. It's a famine. Uh, je lakota. Why plant seed? Zakaj potem sejati v to zemljo? There's nothing going to happen with it. Noč se s tem ne bo zgodilo. But God, if God said stay, then God was going to provide. And it says that he reaped a hundredfold. In a famine. No one else was reaping. Only him. Because he was obedient to God. He listened to what God said. And he multiplied. And he prospered. He became rich because he obeyed God. Even when it didn't look like it could happen. God said stay. And it happened. In se je zgodilo. Now Egypt often represents the world. Egipt veliko krat predstavlja svet. And God says, don't run to the world. In Bog pravi, ne, ne, ne hodi v svet. Don't run to debt. Ne i tu smrt. Don't run to the bank. Ne i tu banko. Don't run to the people of the world. Ne i tk ljudem tega sveta. Trust in God. Ampak zaupaj meni, zaupaj Bogu. Put your trust in Him. Daj svoje zaupanje Bogu. Access the grace. We know how to access grace for forgiveness. Lord, forgive me. Thank you for forgiving me. I am righteous. We know how to access fake grace for healing. Devil, you're a liar. I'm the healed. Body, line up. We do it by faith. What about faith for prosperity? Lord, you said 
that I am rich through Jesus Christ and that I can give according to where you're leading me. If you show me where to sow, then I can sow and I will reap. I have enough to sow there. If you say I can give, then I can give. Amen? Amen. 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 Hvala ti, Jezus. Hvala ti. Ful dobro beseda. Amen. Ful. To spete na spremi, kar si še enkrat si poslušte. Do povdne govoru v Šenkjurju tudi tisti poslušte. Res. Jaz sem ogromen študiral prosperiteto in sem se ful naučil zjutri, pa zdaj spet. Tako da res. Ful ima dober balans ker ena učena so prosperirali, ki so prosperita še bolj, so ljudje žene za denarje, mi si sam bolj ličine nakopljali. Drugo učene je pa, ne, pust tvoj nevaren in prosperiraš in ne moš bogat posleviti in si ful umejen. Resnica je pa seveda, da ti vseeno razpolagal, ampak jič najprej Bože krizi. In ne svojo pravičnost, ampak njegovo pravičnost. Vse ostalo ti bo navržno. Noču biti fokusirani na strah pred računi. Noču mu nositi bremena dolgov, kdorkoli ima kredite oče, v imenu jaz jaz smo, da se bo jen duha dolgov, v imenu jaz. Prost, da je ne gre vsak duh dolgov stran, od vsazga braha sestra. Vsako prekletstvo ne bo zlomeno, v imenu jaz jaz. Hallelujah. Je zlomeno vsako prekletstvo, v imenu jaz jaz. Vsako prekletstvo, siromaštva in dolgov, zlomeno se v imenu Jezusa. Koliko bolezen te lomo v imenu Jezusa. Prekinemo vsako delovanje duha siromaštva. V imenu je vsak strah, glede finac, ne gre stran v imenu Jezusa. Nar mi ti novimo služali v imenu Jezusa. Mi služimo Bogu, ki je nadnarem. Nar ti boš nam služil v imenu Jezusa. Oči, mi ščemo najprej tebe, tvoje kraljestvo. Vse ostalo ne bo navršeno. Mi ne bomo več govorili, da nimamo dost, da ne moramo, da nimamo dnarja. Hvala. To je prekletstvo, ko ga nemo več govorili. Hvala. Mi mu govorili, jaz sem bogat. Nemo poslušali svojega točna, pa bomo Božjo besedo poslušali. Oče, hvala. Uč nas hodati po vodi. Oče, ne bomo toliko svobojeni in ljubezni do dnarja, da bomo vedno lahko tebe poslušali. Ko boš rekel, daj, ali ljubi. Oče, molim, da prosperiramo nad vsakim duhom tega sveta. Da prijedo transferja bogatstva iz rok rivičnih v roke pravičnih, ki bo izpolnjevali tvoje volje. Oče, sponsor se priroštva apostol, ki je našega gibane žene v dešte, Ruth v Šenkjurju, je imela priroštvo in reka, klemen nad tem gibanjem je mazilenje Jožefa. Mazilen Jožef za transfer bogatstva. Oče, hvala ti za to mazilenje, ki ni samo na ena človeka, ampak je na celem gibanju. Oče, molim, da vsi prosperiramo. Oče, hvala, da rihtaš službe ljudem. V tem trenutku, hvala, da se nadona zmago v duhu. Hvala, da se vse se spremine, vse se premika, hvala. Glej se v službi, ki si jo želiš, hvala. Glej se, kako te Bog prosperira. Tako, ko se gledaš zdrav, če je to lo bolano, se glej, kako prosperiraš, če si upotrebi. Hvala. Hvala ti, Jezus. Oče, mi osobajamo, razvezujemo prosperiteto na tvoje ljudstvo. Ta duh religioznosti, ki drži ljudi v siromaštvu, mi te vežemo, nimaš več vpliva nad našim razmišljanj, nad našim življenjem. Hvala. V redu je biti bogat. Dobar je biti bogat. Hvala. Dober je slediti Jezusu in imeti finance, da smo tako, ko v Jakobom pismu, ko lače člo pri, da mu ne rečemo samo Bog te blagosloven, pa da mu lahko damo zajest. Zdaj, ko mene je ful hodov, ko me kdo pokliče, pa je ful brez, pa bi mu rad pomagal, pa mi ne pomo ne moram. Ful sem pa zadovoljen, ker mu lahko. Amen. In mu lahko pomagam, mu lahko najamam stanovanje ali karkoli. Amen. Jaz sem bil ful vesel, ker sem sosedu lahko po avto. 
Jaz sem do vsej ene štiri avto že vse. To je to best. Jaz sem rekel, bolj in blagosloveno, da je tako spremac, kaj, ki so ljudje preko tebe blagosloveni. Ti si kanal za Božje blagoslov. Isto, ki moliš, za koga pa je ozdravljen. Amen. Zakaj bi rad prosperil z to, da si kanal za blagoslov. Amen. Z to, da rodiš sadove pravično. Z to, da se Bog proslavi čez tebe. Amen. Reč, jaz ne bom misk od Marja. Jaz si iščem Boga. In dnar bo mene najdu. In me ne bo pokvaril. Zato, ki ga ne iščem, pa ki iščem Boga. Jaz sem prosperitač. Jaz bom vsem prosperil. In bom poslušal Božji besed. In bom izpolnil njegovo voljo. In tako bom uspel. Ne glej na to, v kjeri državi živim. To ne deluje samo v Floridi. To deluje v Jevnici, v Škofi Loki, v Šinko na Turno, v Lukovci, v Ljubljani, po celi deželi. Amen. Hvala Ljubljani. Potem pa gostovi.